this is how you would approach doing UV. So we'll first start it off by doing it in Maya. There's a couple of different ways that we unwrap it. The way we start doing it in Maya, um, I would probably go to the UV editing. So what we're gonna do, right? What you see here is what they call a seam. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm just gonna select all the edges. And I'm just gonna remove all the seams. So if we go here to cut and sew, All right, there we go. And now we've gotten rid of all the seams, essentially stitched everything together. So now we can go ahead and uh, select cut. Okay. And once we select a group of edges and select cut, you notice how it now turns white. Imagine that each of the edges of the polygon is a perforated edge. And when I select it, and say cut, what it does is it literally tears that perforated edge. And then once that perforated edge is, is torn, the computer tries to flatten it out as much as possible on a 2D UV sheet like this. So now I've selected what I've marked to be my perforated edges, which is this edge until this edge. So I'm gonna... Uh, come on now. Maybe I'll just go here. There we go. Unfold. Okay. And now what you see is based on where these edges are, it kind of um, selected them. Right. And now I have two different parts of a whole. You guys get the idea. You select an edge loop or you select a group of edges. You say cut and it generates a seam. Everybody follows. First of all, we select seams for two reasons. Number one is to get everything on the sheet flat. It's a 3D object. We need to flatten it out to a, a, a 2D plane. The way I explain this to people is kind of this, uh, it's a similar task to taking a box cutter and going to a cardboard box and cutting along the edges of the box until you can lay out the box flat. The second task that you're doing is you want to cut it enough to where you can make sure that the texel density is the same for all the pieces. What does that mean? Well, for any single object, since we're talking about a standard zero to one method, the space we have to work with is a square. What we call it is zero to one. So here's zero, zero. Here's one zero, here's one one, and here's zero one. Basically, the idea is you get everything and you fit it into this one square. Right? So we can select all of them. And if we hit layout, it fits them into the zero to one square. Right Now, what issue do we have? The zero to one square represents a single texture sheet. Each material has channels, and each, each channel has an image assigned to it. Well, obviously, if part of the image is up here, it's not getting used. It's getting wasted, right? So there's a sense of optimization. We want to use as much of this square as possible, right? That's one. So that's part of the tricks of layout. So, you know, maybe we want to push this here, right? And maybe for this one, and we want to also make this as large as possible because what's happening is when we aren't using portions of the UV sheet, it's not really necessarily hurting anything except for the fact that what's going to happen is the less UV space this takes up, the less resolution we get, right? So for example, let's say this UV sheet is 2048 by 2048, but I take all of my, my meshes, right? And I'm just going to pack them again. I'm going to hit layout and then I shrink them. And I only use, let's say, this quadrant 
of the UV sheet, then basically I'm just using up 1024 by 1024. All of this other area is getting wasted as far as resolution goes. Now, why is resolution so important? I'll show you. Here's a checker map, right? You see the uh, letters here and how it's starting to pixelate? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, that's this thing. So I'm gonna take all of these and I'm just gonna move them out of the, the space so you can see what's going on. Okay, so right now, if we're at this distance, that looks clear, right? That's sharp, that's nice. But if we zoom in, as we get closer, see is it's going to start to lose resolution, kind of like you're looking at a blurry photograph, right? Until eventually it looks pixelated, right? And this is just talking about a, a number, which kind of holds up well to this type of, to kind of scaling, right? But imagine if this was a bitmap, like a photograph, the closer you zoomed in, right, the blurrier that texture is going to get. So how do we solve that? Well, the bigger this is, the more space it takes up, I'm able to zoom in closer, the bigger this is before it starts to pixelate. Because if it's this small, right, obviously it's pixelated. And the first thing is getting it flat, Second thing is making sure everything is getting as much UV space as possible. Okay. And then the last thing is very, very important. The last thing is getting the same texel density for every single object. What does that mean? All right. Well, let's say this is like this, right? In fact, we'll do it with these, these meshes too. This is actually going to be better. All right, what's wrong with this picture? Whereas this, in this quadrant, the texture is gigantic. In this one, the texture is small. In this one, the texture is medium. So that means if we have, if the textures we assign to this are bricks, in some of them, the text, the brick would be gigantic. In some of them, they would be medium. In some of them, it would be small. On top of that, right, watch this. When I start to zoom in, this is already starting to lose detail. This is still holding, right? So you want to maintain that they're all retaining the same, this is what we call texel density.